Welcome to the Professional Podcast Network, where brilliance meets business, elevate your brand, and supercharge your revenue with inspiring insights and innovation. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to the show. This is your host, Phil, and my next guest here with us today is Gary Nicholson, who's based out of Dixon, New Mexico, and is also an author. How are you doing today, Gary? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thanks for asking. So, Gary, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and what you write as an author and what you do? Okay. Um, basically, uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I paint and I draw and write poetry. And, yes, of course, I write books. Uh, my books are in the science fiction genre, and I also write art books and books of poetry. I both I write both novels and short stories. All right, sounds good. How long have you been writing for? Most of your life? Uh, yes, I have. Um, not seriously, but yes. Uh, like most people, I started writing when I was in first grade, and they taught me the uh, alphabet, and I started putting these little letters together, and. Later, learned to form words and uh, started writing short stories and poetry when I was a teenager, and I really loved it. It really was part of my life, even though I wasn't thinking about doing it as a profession. Um, I was definitely doing it because I had the feel for it. All right, gotcha. So you said that you mostly write science fiction and fantasy, right? Yes. Um, Okay. I write science fiction, fantasy, and um, poetry, you know, mm -hmm. which, you know, you can combine all those things. Yeah. When you're writing novels, you can throw in some poetry, you can, you know, it's like, it's a whole new universe for you, and when you write science fiction, you know, uh, if you think of Star Trek and Star Wars, which is what most people think when they think of science fiction these days, um, there's no limits. Exactly. So, Gary, what are some of... You've written some books, right? Yes. What are some of the titles of these books? Okay, the first one I wrote, uh, with a serious nature, uh, was Trouble on the Red Planet, which was um, a short novel, mm -hmm. and... Um, I expanded on that and uh, wrote some short stories around it and consolidated them and turned it into a thing I call the archaeologist because that's the main character is an archaeologist who lives on Mars and travels uh, in space and goes to other planets and does his archaeological exploration. Um, and then there's Johnny Strongbow, who is a Native American uh, in the FBI uh, on assignment on Mars. Uh, and he's there to um, investigate the corruption in the Martian colony uh, with the uh, colonial government and the businesses that are there. Um, and I wrote a short story... Uh, a book of short stories called Triad is three short stories. Uh, and um, what else do you want to know? Mm, I think you covered just about everything here. They all sound like really interesting reads. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I write, you know, it's just like Stephen King says, I write the things that I like to read, mm -hmm. which, you know, makes sense, right? Of course. So uh, that's what most writers do. Mm -hmm. and most of it just appears in our head. It's like I've heard people say they'll read an author or actually listen to some music and say they're getting that out of the ether. Well, what do you expect? They're creating. They're creating something that's never been before, and, of course, they're creating it in their mind, and sometimes it's like Stephen King, I don't know, uh, I use his name a lot because he's a very big inspiration for me. He doesn't know where it comes from. It just comes in as a flow of images and consciousness, and somehow he, he uh, filters that out into a story. Exactly. 
And that's what pretty much what authors do. That's what filmmakers do, too. Mm-hmm. Of course, filmmakers work a lot with writers <laughs> who already yeah. created something that they could make a film out of. Exactly. So, Gary, if we want to find out more information about you or your books, what's the best way that we could reach out to you? Okay, there's a website. It's my website. It's called uh, Johnny Strongbow Book Marketing. It's with GoDaddy, and you have the link there on my questionnaire. I sent that to you. Uh, Also, um, I have a YouTube channel, which I didn't send you a link to, but I didn't think until later I should have given you that, too. There's also my uh, fineartamerica.com, which I did send a link to, which, you know, you can see references to my books, and you can see my book covers and all that stuff. And, of course, there's amazon.com and Mm -hmm. barnesandnoble.com. And if you know the titles of my book, you can search for them there. Uh, Amazon.com actually has an author page, which I'm really proud of, because every time I put a book in there, it just grows. Um, Hmm. And it's my own personal author page, which is cool. That is cool. All right. Well, Gary, I want to thank you so much for joining us on the show today and telling us a little bit about what you've written. Thank you. All right. You have a great day, Gary. Take care. To the rest of our listeners, stay right there. We'll be right back after the short commercial break. Welcome to the Professional Podcast Network, where brilliance meets business. Elevate your brand and supercharge your revenue with inspiring insights and innovation. 